Hello and good afternoon, good evening folks. I have some exciting new features to share with you guys today. Um, I want to show you guys how to create a video like this in less than five minutes, in less than five to ten minutes to create a whole video just like this. Um, we're leveraging the power of video AI to do this. First of all, I just want to demonstrate to you what I made in just uh, five minutes and then show you how I did it and show you how you can improve on it and how you can create amazing videos here at Simple Scribe just using prompts, okay? So let's run the video. Now, the audio is probably going to be a bit glitchy and that's a deliberate thing that we do here on Simple Scribe so that when editing your video, there is no lag so that your audio um, is in line with the timeline and what you're seeing in the editing process. When you export the video, it will be crystal clear audio. Everything will play smoothly and fine. So don't worry about the glitchiness while you're in the editor. So let's play the video and see what we have here. Good morning. Early hours of the morning, Bob awakens with determination. He knows it's going to be a productive day. Bob carefully inspects his trusty toolkit, ensuring every tool is in its rightful place, ready for the task ahead. Arriving at the bustling construction site, Bob greets his team with Hi a team. smile and on down, dense energy, dancing, dancing, Together, Bob and his dedicated team put their skills to the test, working seamlessly to build a sturdy new wooden ship. As the sun begins to set, Bob stands back, a sense of pride swelling within him. As the completed shed stands strong, a test We did it! Hard work I'm gonna bet that's wasting. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video there. Um, you may have heard Bob saying a few things that were in English, a bit of gibberish there. Now, there's, there's a few things going on there, and I want to explain really quickly what's happening. So, the video, the, the animation is generated through AI, including the audio effects. They had a voiceover on there, and I want to show you guys. So, th this audio here, this is the voiceover audio. That is, I've, I've showed you guys this before in the past. You can generate a voiceover by giving it text and then choosing one of the voiceovers that we have here and it does that fine that one's fine it's in it's exactly how i typed it but the animation itself i didn't give it a text um i didn't give it uh, anything to read or say i just described the animation and so the ai just made up words assuming you know it just assumed what might fit there and sometimes it generates a gibberish audio and that's the, but that's the fun of working with ai is you can try different things, different prompts. And now there's ways I could have got better audio from the AI, um, but that wasn't my goal here. I just wanted to quickly generate a video as quick as I could in about five minutes, and that's what I did. So how did I do this in five minutes? Well, I have, let me show you what this is. This composition is made of. Let's look inside. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven video clips, right? And these video clips are about eight seconds maximum longer. We're using Google's latest uh, video generator. The best way to do this, if you're creating animations, explainer type videos, is you want to generate your images first and then ask the AI to animate those images. And that's what I did. You could do it from the project, um, from the project window or the project side of the application, or you can do it on the storyboard side of the application. And that's what I did. I used the storyboard side. Let me show you exactly how I did that. Um, if I go back to the storyboard and I open Bob, um, you can see these are all images I generated, right? After generating the images, it was as simple as clicking select all, generate videos, and it then generated all the videos, put it all together, create the project, and I was ready to play my video. So the, the steps were this. I create, I wrote the script first. I wrote the script. You put the script in there, save the script. After writing the script, I told the AI to generate the panels automatically, generate the images automatically, generate images that had consistent characters automatically. And that's just as easy as coming to the chatbot interface here and telling it generate panels from the script or you could do it manually as well if you didn't have a script you could you could do that manually as well um you would basically uh, create your panels that wouldn't have images on there i'll show you what that looks like so if you create a new panel like so no script and then i could click on there and then get it to generate uh generate all well i would have all empty panels at this point with just text and each panel is describing what i want to see in the panel click generate all and then after that, click generate video, and then I'll get the video uh, for for those as well. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, 
I will make another video explaining how the storyboard system works because the storyboard system is designed to pre-plan your videos before you get to making them. But for this video, I just want to share with you the power of using video AI to, to quickly make animations. And the other thing you could do with video AI and something I've been experimenting with is creating logos, uh, logo introductions or, you know, create some fun looking, you could do anything you want with it, to be honest. Um, the sky's the limit. So if I go to, for example, here, I was just messing around with logos. That's like an intro logo that was generated um, automatically through AI. Now, the question is, how do I do this? And I've kind of run out of time in this video. So maybe I'll do a part two, but I'll show you the quick and easy way, uh, the quick and straightforward way of doing it. You can generate videos from the storyboard, as I, as I showed but you can also do it from the project pane. So while in the project, if I want to generate a new video with AI video, I go to insert, then I go to online graphics, and then I go to AI video. Now, some of you have already watched previous videos where I go over how to generate images here on the, on the AI image. We've updated it slightly. We've added model pickers. Now you can change the model. You can use OpenAI or Gemini. I think Gemini currently is better on this date than AI are generating uh, images the way I want them. You could then have a persistent prompt and then you could have a, have a prompt run. Now you'll notice that the, the system prompt that I use is the, the plain white background so that it blends into my project and so that it doesn't have that hard edge like you saw the logo video did. Or you could go to video now and you can, now to generate consistent characters, you wanna give it a reference to start from. You wanna give it an image to start from. So um, if I wanted to animate an image on the project, I could do it from this window here, um, or I could upload a new image. If I went to one of my images, uh, selected one of them just like that, you know, it's like selecting an image, selecting an image that has a, a simple drawing is good for whiteboard style animation videos, right? And then the other thing you want to do is then select the model that you want to use again, just like just like we do with um, uh, with with images, you can select your model and then you've got a few settings as well for generating the video. You can go landscape resolution, you can have adult, you can have the, um, this is a, this is a Google limitation thing where you can't generate videos of kids. Um, but so there is no, no setting to be changed there. Um, you could, you could have uh, the, I would, I would recommend you just go with the default settings, but you can generate up to four videos. So for, for the one prompt, you generate four videos. It doesn't take any longer than generating the one video, um, which is about 20 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds. And then you can pick from there the best video. They'll all pop up on this screen here. But I'll create another video where I'll go into this in depth. It's just that this video is getting a bit too long, but please watch out for part two where I'll actually generate a new video in the tutorial. Thank you guys very much for watching and have yourself a good day.